Hi everyone, I'm in the garden today so I thought I'd have a little look because we're now in the third season so we started school and it was autumn and then we went to winter and now we're starting to see signs of spring so I thought I'd show you some of the things in my garden that make me know that spring is here and it's definitely well on the way so let's have a little look. Right, we have got here I can show you that I've got a peony plant growing so I know that it's starting to grow. You can see really lovely green leaves and then just behind it, if you can see here, I have got a raspberry plant growing. Okay, so also in my garden, I've been able to spot loads and loads of different shapes. Here, I've got spheres. They're a 3D shape, they're solid. Okay, it's like a circle, but it's been blown up, so that's called a sphere. I also got loads of steps in my garden, so we can count them together. One, two, three, four, five. So when I walk along my steps, I can see here that I've got lots of beautiful daffodils that are growing in my garden. That's a lovely sign of spring. And then if you come with me a little bit further, up some more steps. One, two, three, four, five six more six and six is 12 you can see that right at the top of my garden i had to get some plants which would grow in the shade because up here the sun doesn't really come very far because if you look all the way up you can see the branches of a really big oak tree and that blocks all of the sun from coming in but you can see here that i've got another plant which has started to grow some leaves and they're looking really green if you look really closely here you can see some teeny tiny little buds growing so they're soon going to be really beautiful leaves so i've got lots of signs of spring in my garden it's really windy this morning but it's really nice to get in the fresh air so i wonder what you'll find in your garden my garden and i wanted to talk to you about some of the things that i'm going to be getting up to in my garden on this lovely spring morning so I'm going to be doing some planting of some seeds and um, so I'm going to do some raking and I'm going to do some weeding as well. Now when you're in the garden or if you're outside you need to be careful because there might be things that other people don't like. So first of all I need to protect my hands so I'm going to pop my gardening gloves on. And I will show you what I've got. So I've got some seeds. So. In a little while I'll show you how I plant them so I'm going to be using a little spade this is called a trowel helps me dig a little hole so that I can pop the seeds in and then water them in and I'll show you how I do that in a little while I just need to be careful because if I'm digging and then I flick the soil it could get over somebody else or it might even get in my own eyes so no one's gonna like that so I have to be super careful when I'm using my um, trowel also I've got a couple of tools here which will help me when I'm doing my weeding you can see that the prongs on this there are three prongs and they are a little bit sharp so I have to be really careful I have to be safe when I'm using tools but also what I'm going to be doing is the grass in my garden is not looking very healthy at the moment so I have to give it a good rake to get rid of all of the weeds and the thing about my rake is that it's got lots more spiky prongs Okay, so I have to be careful. You'll notice in a minute when I stand up that this is also really long. So it's the right size for me because I'm a grown up, but it wouldn't be a very good size for the children. You, if you're gonna have a go, you need to check that your grown ups are happy for you to do it and you need to do it really safely. Because I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt by the prongs and I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt by the long handle either. So I'm gonna have a little go at showing you how I'll do my raking in the garden and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to plant my seeds. Can you see all of this? This is moss, which is things which I don't want in my grass. So I'm gonna make sure I pick it all off, making sure I've got my gloves on because I don't want to hurt myself on the prongs. And then I get to bundle it all up. I'm gonna pop it in my compost bin so that it can be made into something that can go back into helping the soil. Okay, so just going to finish off doing my raking, making sure that I keep my gloves on and that I keep, 
keep sure make sure that everyone's safe and away from my handle and my prongs and then I'll show you how I'm gonna plant my seed. seeds so I have got in here my seeds these were seeds which I rescued last year I was growing sweet peas and I kept the seeds out of the pots and I've dried them out all year and now they're ready to be planted I have got my rake and my trowel and I have got my watering can ready with some water this is where I'm going to plant my seeds in my flower bed. Now I've got lots of work to do because I've got lots of weeds which I need to get rid of but I also have to be really careful because this is a lovely growing plant here and this is my rose bush which is going to come back into flower when it gets a little bit warmer and like I showed you before this is my peony and the thing with flowers is that you have to be super careful because although they look lovely at the top underneath they've got lots of roots and they're going to be growing underneath so I have to be careful that I don't um, dig up their roots because that wouldn't help them grow. So I'm going to get ready and I'll show you how I plant my seeds. 